Hello friends, today we are going to discuss the preclinical model for screening of emetic and anti-emetic drugs. This is the second presentation. The first presentation is already uploaded on the my YouTube channel that is preclinical pharmacology, which introduces you the apomorphine induces vomiting in the dog. Here in this presentation, we are going to discuss three more methods. First is antiemetic activity in ferrets. Another is activity, activity against motion induced emesis. And third one that is emetic and antiemetic activity in pigeons. So I'm Dr. Aman Upagan Lawar and please like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel that is Preclinical Pharmacology for getting such types of screening techniques and various models in the pharmacology. So let's discuss some introductory portion and then we'll discuss one by one the model. So what is nausea? Nausea is nothing but the feeling of having an urge to vomit. So it is actually not the vomiting. It is the first stage before vomiting where a person can feel that the vomiting is there, but actually vomiting will not be produced. What is vomiting or emesis? It is a forceful expulsion of the upper gastrointestinal content. And acute emesis occurs within minutes and resolve within 24 hours, whereas delayed emesis occurs within two to three days and breakthrough emesis occurs after the prophylactic anti treatment also. Now there is another term that is reaching which you can observe in some animals. It is nothing but the strenuous spasmodic and periodic contraction of the respiratory muscle. So in these symptoms the strenuous spasmodic and periodic contraction observed of the respiratory muscle including the muscle of the chest, diaphragm and abdominal wall without producing the vomiting or without expulsion of the stomach contains. Then ejection, ejection is nothing but the type of vomiting. It is the ex expulsion of vomitus forcefully through mouth and the nose. So several animal models are there by using which one can test the antiemetic activity of the drugs. Now let's see the first model that is antiemetic activity in the ferret. So ferret, it is a very suitable model and this animal use the responses similar to the human being. And this model is used to test the antiemetic properties of drugs, which blocks the 5-HT receptor, that is 5-HT receptor antagonist and tachykinin NK receptor antagonist. So here in this test, the procedure is like that. You can uh, have the adult male ferrets whose uh, body weight is 1 to 1.5 kg. You can divide the animal into two groups as usual. The ferrets are first anesthetized with a suitable anesthetic agent. And once the ferret get anesthetized, complete anesthetized, then do a small surgery that is jugular veins are cannulated and they are exteriorized from the outside of the neck. And after that, the animal get recovered. The animal will be administered with cisplatin. The dose of cisplatin is 10 mg per kg intravenously, which actually produces the symptoms of emesis. After administration of cisplatin, just observe the animal for the number of reaches and vomiting up to five hours. So within five hours, how many times the animal shows the reaches, number of reaches and the vomiting has to be observed. So this group is considered as a disease group or control group. And uh, in case of the treatment group, you can carry out the same process. You can have the adult male ferret, you can anesthetize the animal and then do this surgical process. And once the ferret get recovered from this process, then you administered your test 
drug and after administration of the test drug, then administered cisplatin and repeat the same experiment. Here, you can count the duration of time for which inhibitory effect remain significantly different from the vehicle control. This gives you the antimetic activity of the test drug. Now, the second model is activity against the motion induced uh, sickness, motion induced emesis. So, several times it happens that in people also, while doing some journey, they will produce the emesis or vomiting occur. So, same uh, animal model is uh, there that is activity against motion induced emesis. So, for this experiment, uh, one should require the house must crew. Uh, this is the picture of this house must crew. So, if you are using the adult animal, male animal, then the weight should be 55 to 90 gram. And if you are using the female, that is the weight should be 35 to 50 gram. So, these animals you have to take and they are kept into the perspex box. The dimension of the box is given that uh, 11 centimeter is the height, 22 centimeter is the length and 11 centimeter is the width. So this uh, perfect box is attached to the platform of the shaker set. This is the shaker, this is the platform and on this platform one has to attach this uh, you know, perfect box. Here you can observe this shaker and on this perfect box is attached where the house musk are kept and they said to and the execute a linear horizontal motion of four centimeters so this shaker will produces this horizontal motion of four centimeter at a frequency of one hertz along the long axis of the chamber and during this five minutes you can observe this animal for five minutes and record the number and timing of emetic episodes. So this will show the emetic episodes. One has to record the timing of emetic episodes. Then administered the drug, test drug, and repeat the same procedure for your test compound. And then calculate the percent reduction in emesis episode before the administration of the drug and after administration of the drug. So, this is the second method which is very easy method. Then third method for the same is the emetic and anti-emetic activity in pigeons. So, here this is the third method where the male white carniox pigeons are used these animals are kept in stainless steel cages at a constant temperature and a humidity. Maintain this uh, pigeon uh, a once daily feeding of approximately 20 gram purina pigeon checker. This is a feed which you have to administer to the animal. On the test day means the day on which you are going to carry out the test by administration of the uh, emetic compounds. So, the, these birds are fed five minutes before the uh, start of emetic trial and if vomiting occurs, the pigeon are given an additional 20 gram of the Purina pigeon shaker and they are returned to the cage. So, individual subjects are allowed a recovery period of at least three days before each drug test. So, if it will not produce this, then you can administer or you can produce the emesis by administration of any one of the compound. You can have the cisplatin 10 mg per kg in wing vein, epicac syrup 1 to 3 ml per kg, then diethyogenidine 5.6 mg per kg injected intramuscularly or imatin 1 to 20 mg per kg injected into the pectoralis muscle. So these are the compounds which produces the emesis. And then you can administer your taste substance who is having the potential antimetic activity. 
at various different doses 15 minutes before the emetic challenge means in without drug you can administer any one of these tests and observe the uh, vomiting for uh, two hours and test compound is administered before challenging with the emetic drug means here you have to administer the test compound and repeat the process and you can observe this the vomiting duration has to be observed for two hours and then you carried out the evaluation ed50 value has to be calculated with 95 percent confidence limits for the activity of emetic substances as well as for the inhibition of emesis by anti-emetic drug after a high dose of the emetic compound so by this way one can perform this anti-emetic activity using these three different models which are very easy to learn uh, if you like this uh, video or if you want such types of video then the feedback is uh, al always welcome and uh, you are requested to like share and subscribe this uh, channel thank you